Hello there. Welcome to EG Mat, where we solve every single SC question by using one unified scientific approach that we call the meaning based approach. My name is Shraddha Jaiswal. I'm a senior verbal SME at EG Mat, and today I'll show you how to solve this really difficult question very easily if we focus at the right parts of the sentence. So let's just do so. In our three step meaning based approach, the first step is the meaning analysis in which we try to extract the meaning communicated by the original sentence. And in order to do so, we split our long sentence into smaller chunks to better understand the meaning. So let's get started. The sentence reads an archaeological excavation at okay so this sentence is talking about an archaeological excavation site reading further what might have been a workshop okay so the archaeologists think that this site was probably a workshop reading further where statues were produced okay so this part of the sentence is presenting more description about a workshop what used to happen in this workshop statues were reproduced there all right reading the last bit of the sentence yielded 1532 fragments of human figures including seven intact statues okay so going back to the first part of my sentence i understand that this archaeological excavation site it yielded 1532 pieces of human figures and these pieces include seven intact statues so to sum it up my sentence is saying that an archaeological excavation site is thought to be a workshop nothing for surety it is just a probability here this workshop was used to reproduce statues this site which is thought to be a workshop yielded or produced 1532 fragments of human statues and these fragments include seven complete statues and it is aspect 4 that bewilders me because 1532 fragments means pieces right so if this site yielded 1532 pieces of human figures how can these figures include seven intact statues so let's visualize this sentence on the screen what we see are the parts of a statue right these are the fragments of a statue so when we are talking about fragments they cannot include intact or complete statues so i understand that the way this sentence is written aspect 4 is absolutely absolutely illogical okay so i have stamped this sentence as illogical but i can definitely derive the logic from the information presented in the sentence what will make this sentence logical so if we do a little deep dive over here we understand that fragments and intact statues are totally different categories right they are absolutely exclusive categories so instead of including we must write and to connect these two different categories to make this sentence logical this is what we need to uh, make sense out of this sentence all right so with this thorough understanding now we will move on to our step 2 which is error analysis in this step we try to find out grammatical errors with the sentence and we've already established that usage of including makes this sentence absolutely illogical so we need to replace this word to make this um, uh, answer choice or to make the sentence correct okay and this is the only error in this sentence rest everything is fine with this sentence now some of you may ask that hey what about 
this structure over here might have been a workshop don't you think it is wordy we've generally seen this structure in incorrect answer choices well yes we've seen this structure in incorrect answer choices because in those sentences or in those answer choices the structure has been used incorrectly but that is not the case with this sentence over here this expression is absolutely correct to present the logical meaning that this site is thought to be a workshop that there is a possibility that this particular site was a workshop so what might have been a workshop is absolutely correct in presenting the meaning that this particular site was thought to be a or is thought to be a workshop okay so the only error in this sentence is the usage of including if we fix that problem we'll get to our correct answer choice so let's move on as we can see here the usage of including is absolutely incorrect in this choice because it totally makes the sentence illogical now on the basis of the usage of this particular word we can actually reject choices d and e because they straight away use the word including so without even getting into the details of d and e just by looking at the presence of that word including in these two answer choices we can reject them so three answer choices are gone now the the contest is between b and c and as you can already make out b is the correct answer choice because over here we see that the word including has been correctly replaced by and and this is what we preempted while we were we were trying to find out the logic in the sentence right and that's what choice b does now what makes choice c incorrect choice c uses this very uh, funny expression a possible workshop now it might sound right but let's take let's create a few simple um, expressions uh, following the same structure to validate the meaning presented by a possible workshop say an old workshop if i say an old workshop that works right because i'm talking about a characteristic of a workshop the workshop that is old or i can say an acting workshop that also makes sense because we are talking about the kind of the workshop right it teaches acting or it talks about acting it is about acting right so these are the traits the features the characteristics of a workshop now on the same line can i say that a possible workshop is a legit phrase no why because possible is not a trait or a feature or a kind of the workshop it just does not describe workshop logically the sentence wants to say that this site was probably a workshop right it's not saying that the characteristic of the workshop is that it was possible so this expression is absolutely incorrect in the context of this sentence and so so choice c is out and you can see that this very um phrase has been used in choice d and in choice e as well which we have already rejected we've rejected choices d and e for the use of including but this a possible workshop also adds to the error in choices d and e so very straightforward choice b is our correct answer so you see when we focus at the right part of the sentence it is easy to come to the correct answer choice now with this let's understand a few takeaways what we must keep in mind try to visualize the sentence in most of the uh, in most of the cases um, especially for sc questions you will be able to visualize the sentence when i visualized about fragments and fragments including intact statues 
it just did not make sense and what happens with visualizing is that you become more confident or you understand the meaning communi communicated by the sentence in a much better way right so try to visualize sentences as much as you can the next thing i would say is that keep asking yourself does this make sense because logic is the key to solving sc questions correctly the first thing we need to understand in the sentence is the logic that it intends to communicate unless and until we figure out that logic you know there's no point moving on with other steps and looking at the answer choices because that's not going to help us so keep asking yourself does this make sense for example we ask that question to including does it make sense for including to uh, to be in the sentence definitely not and that's why we understood that the sentence was illogical at the first place all right the third takeaway would be is that when we use the intended logical meaning to analyze our answer choices it becomes so much easy uh, uh, to eliminate incorrect answer choices a slightest deviation from the intended logical meaning will will equip us to reject that answer choice straight away and that is what we did with choices d and e also only on the basis of the presence of the word including i'm i did not i mean we did not waste any time in reading through the whole answer choice and try to find out what's going on in there i know for sure including doesn't make sense there and so i rejected those two answer choices straight away last but not the least it is very very important that we consider the entire sentence when we are and we are trying to understand the meaning communicated by um by the sentence by the original sentence um especially in case of this sentence you know if you focused only on the underlined portion of the sentence and if you missed out reading these three words at the end of the sentence specifically this particular word over here the chances are that you would land up selecting choice a because yeah i mean 15 32 pieces of human figures could include anything could include hands could include the face or whatever and that would happen only when we chose not to pay attention to these three words but when we focus on the sentence in its entirety and we plug the answer choices in uh, in the sentence and we look at the sentence in its entirety that's when we understand that uh, the usage of including is so very absurd in this sentence and it doesn't make any sense right so it's very 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 important that you don't only fix your attention on the not, on the underlined portion of the sentence but you actually analyze the sentence in its entirety to understand the logic of the sentence okay so with this i thank you all for being with me today and understanding uh, for watching this solution uh, please subscribe to our youtube channel for more such solutions and articles we keep uh, producing more and more content uh, for our users and um, please also check the links in the description below for more helpful resources that's all from my side for now thank you so much and happy learning